Hockey Techniques with Todd Drevich presents Forward Skating, Volume 1. Explosive Takeoffs, Acceleration, and Stopping. Now, you know how to stop on one foot. You know how to get the quick three steps. You know how to open up the hip. Now let's put it all together. I like to use the circle. We'll do a couple quicker drills later on in the video. But right now, let's still take it a little bit slow, but let's use again my visual, straight line. That's what I want to use. I'm going to skate straight down the red line, glide, stop, and without putting the other foot down, I'm just going to stay right on that red line. Notice, when I turn, where's my stick pointing? It's on the red line, pointing at the camera. Where's my toe pointing? It's on the red line, pointing at the camera. That turns my hips and my shoulders. If I put my head down, my foot comes out. Again, remember to keep that chest up, head up, foot under the body. Now, we did open up takeoffs earlier in the video. You can use them during breakouts, you can use them during regroups, you can do it if you're a center, a winger, or a defenseman. We're going to show you a drill right here. What this pad is, the reason I have the pad, it's the net. What you're going to be, you are, as the viewer, you're the defenseman. The defenseman's planted behind the net. Good place to be, because you'll want to use the net to your advantage, but that's a different video altogether. We'll get to that later. Now, we've got the puck. As a player, it may happen, but you want to try not to turn your back on the puck. If I turn my back on the puck, how do I know if it gets past me? If I turn my back on the puck, how do I know if someone turns the puck over or falls down? I mean, I've known players to be on breakaways and just fall down for no reason. All right, Dennis does it all the time, by the way, but don't tell him I told you that. All right, we've got the puck right here. Now, the puck is behind the net. If I'm the forward, I want to always be able to open up or show my body, show my stick to that puck. Now again, I'm not going to go into as much detail about presenting myself for a pass. That again is a different video. But I want you to notice the takeoff. We're going back to that open up takeoff that we worked on. That's where I came in, I didn't cross my feet over because I don't want to commit myself in one direction. Again, if I come down, there's the defenseman. I'm like the center coming next to the net. Now, if I plant my foot and cross over, I'm committed. What I mean by that is, I have to go this way. What if the defenseman makes a bad pass and there's a turnover right here? I have to continue on oh, and come back. There is no coming back. That's why we talk to defensemen a lot about not crossing the feet over. So again, there's a very important takeoff, the open up takeoff. So again, watch. It's going to kind of look like a figure eight. Just like a breakout. Defenseman's got the puck. I'm the center. Make believe I'm the center. I'm coming in foot under the body. Now notice, one foot stop, we worked on that. Look at my stick, the stick's out in front of my body. I'm actually ready for a pass. Notice my toe, where is it pointing? It's pointing up ice. It's not pointing back at the defenseman. I'm not turning around and gliding. I'm right here, it's turning up ice. Now I've got the weight to step off of this foot right here. Oh, that hurts. Okay, this foot right here, I push. Now I've got the motion heading up ice. Let's try this whole drill all in one sequence now. It's a great drill. You can actually add passing to it to work on multiple skills. Let's come down. I come in, open up. Now I'm not doing the two or three quick steps because I'm just showing you in slow motion. But I'm able to see that puck. Now, a couple quick steps coming in and out. Couple quick steps coming in and out. 